Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling superb. Sagittarius, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's dive in head first, clear the deck for you. Now for this week's uh, topic, I want to focus on you and your person. So the first person that comes to your mind, whether that, wherever, <laughs> it doesn't matter, I cannot talk, uh, whether this is a romantic interest, a family member or a friend, the first person that you think about in regards to this reading, well, yes, most likely this will be your reading and will kind of like also be their reading as well because it's like coming together. So I don't want to add any other subtopic. I really just want to focus on what do the cards and my spirit team and also your spirit team, what do they want you to know in regards to you and your person, this specific person? You know who they are. They know who you are. And let's see, what do the cards want the collective to know. So this is a really good way of just getting like straight to the point, yeah? As I always say, you get to the grain of the situation or let's put all the cards up on the table and let's see, let's map everything out. Two more. The Sagittarius, please, and their person. Excellent. So of course, this does not matter the type of connection you have, you know, in respect, it could be someone you're dealing with now, um, someone, you know, from your past, on again, off again, perhaps, you know, talking anymore. So let's see, you and your person, what is going on? So I suppose I did add a subtext there, but here we go. Three more, two more. Well, actually, spirit guide just said one more. Thank you. Perfect. All right, Sagittarius, here we go. Let's see the bottom of the deck. Overall energy, thoughts and feelings and actions that have not been expressed yet. What do we have? Oh my Lord. All right, this is good. You've actually got the world. This is the last card of the Major Arcana. And in saying that, it is actually known as just being incredibly lucky, the fact that it made a presence. It's a good omen, it's a good sign. Sagittarius, this is a time for you now. You have come full circle in regards to this person. The world is literally, you know, your oyster. The world is at your feet. You can breathe, put your shoulders down, <sighs> exhale. Because you've gone through all the major arcanas, like the death card, the hanged man, the tower. You know, you've gone through all of that. And now you're here. This is the end of a cycle. Big lessons have been learned. But when one door closes, we have another door opening. It's a brand new chapter and it's favorable. It's more for you than against you here. In fact, there's nothing against you yet. As we, I mean, when I say yet, there's nothing here that shows that there's opposing forces. This is wonderful. Congratulations, Sagittarius. Pat yourself on the back. Whatever you went through, you're on the other side. A lot better. And you're super independent. Look at that. We've got the Hermit. The wise sage ruled by Virgo. I love the fact that we start off already with so many major arcanas here, because that obviously means that your spirit team and your person's spirit team are working together behind the scenes to get the ball rolling here. Now, what I can see here already is that you're yeah, probably not talking to this person, but that is about to end sooner rather than later. You've been really Sagittarius looking within. You've taken back control of your power in all the forms that we can imagine a lot of soul searching. Now, I can see here that this person may reach out to you because we have the star card, because it's a, you know the card of hopes, miracles. It represents that North Star, yes? Wish upon a star. <laughs> you are starting now from wisdom and experience, not from scratch, not from inexperience. Nice. And the star, ruled by Aquarius. It's a card of destiny, of hope, faith, renewal, the deepest wishes but the personal ones that you have inside of you that probably you do not even voice out to anyone, they are about to come true. In fact, the star says more than ever right now, there's a pivotal stage because we are in the middle now where we've started a Mercury retrograde. So do not be surprised if this person does reach out to you. If you are waiting for this person, they're gonna beat you to it. We have to keep our thoughts very positive. It's not enough in this situation to hope we need to believe now we have that three of wands aries energy for some of you this person could be at a certain distance interstate overseas regardless it doesn't matter i'm really inclined to say here that perhaps you've been waiting for a sign anything a miracle that's going to happen 
I mean, the fact they have three major arcana is way more powerful than, um, you know, in respect, a minor arcana or a core card. Your person will be coming in at the right moment. Perhaps they're just waiting for certain elements to kind of come into place here as well. I want to feel more confident or until I get this job or when Sagittarius kind of gives me this sign, for example. We also have the devil, the three of swords. This has not been easy for you. That's why you have grown up tremendously here, Sagittarius, and you know it, you can feel it because we have the devil. As we can see, the mermaid came offshore, saw those jewels and fell into the trap because of temptation here, right? But of what? The three of swords, heartbreak, Libra energy. And this is as far as I will go, the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. It seems here that there was a third party situation to some capacity and your person tried to juggle you and something or someone else. Clearly that did not work out. In fact, Sagittarius, many of you couldn't have been the one to go your separate way. And if your person, or, you know, both went your separate ways here, I must say that there was definitely a toxic individual that was kind of separating you. They may have succeeded for now. No more though, because the world is saying, no, things have come full circle. Let's start a new cycle here as well. So yes, it can mean infidelity. It can mean maybe distance was, you know, that culprit. Um, but I'm really getting a toxic person here, like an ex um, from your person, a family member, a friend, in really rare circumstances, it could be a co-worker that's like this person's best friend. But the world is saying, no more of this. No more. It's getting tiring. Let's talk about the current situation as it stands for you, Sagittarius. Wow. I love seeing sixes. The six of swords, Aquarius energy. Again, some of you may be traveling. Could be for a holiday, could be for work, interstate, overseas. But sixes here are all, I think you're more than ready, Sagittarius. And dare I say this, but you are more than happy to move on by yourself or with this person. Like with the bonus, maybe it could even be with this person. But it's all about moving into karma waters. We've accepted the lessons. Even we've accepted losses. For example, that apology that you never got, the clarity that you so deserved and you didn't. And you're like, I'm on my way. But that's the thing though. This is the current energy now that perhaps both of you are seeing. Your person would like to move forward with you though. But in saying that, let's talk about your thoughts and feelings about this person and the connection. Wow. You have a beautiful soft spot, Sagittarius, in your heart. You probably don't have a bad bone in your body. You got another card of true love, two of cups ruled by cancer. We can see two souls merging together as one. And even though you may be polar opposites, it's those big um, differences that bring you together. The two of cups says that you know deep down in your heart and soul, there's no evidence, but now is not the time to fully disconnect, to walk away, to give up. I can see here that you know this. Both of you are mirroring each other 100% emotionally here. So yes, you do love this person. And yes, you would love to move forward with them. But if that's not going to happen, you're happy to move forward on your own. I love your self-respect that you have here, that self-worth that you have. You don't let anyone trample all over you. Power to Sagittarius. Let's talk about your person's um, thoughts, feelings about you and the connection here. Oh my God. <laughs> Sagittarius, what is going on? They're seeing you as the Ace of Cups. Uh, this is a big card for true love. All aces are breakthroughs, brand new beginnings, falling in love all over again. And the fact that this chalice is underwater with fishes, it is emotional abundance here. And your person is thinking about some pretty hot topics in their mind or in their feelings, we could say, such as, you know, pregnancy, babies, children, engagement, commitment, marriage here but filling up each other's cup. We complement each other. We add value because that devil card can often show, yes, that there was, of course, in the past, some um, temptation here as well, or even attachment to very unhealthy people and substance, substances, if I can say that correctly. But we can pretty much say that your hearts are still beating for one another. Now, what is happening behind the scenes that you are unaware of, but now you know? Wow. We got some hot topics with the Hierophant. Number five, changes and transitions ruled by Taurus. Commitment, marriage, doing the right thing here. Some of you definitely could have been very committed to this person or married. If there was a third party, it seems that your person could have indeed been committed or married to someone else. But what's going on behind the scenes here with your person is that, geez, you know what? I need to do right by Sagittarius. I need to do the right thing. Even go down a traditional route 
and talk about commitment and marriage. Someone here, um, especially a person, could be going through some counseling, could be some spiritual or like seeing a counselor or psychologist here, kind of preparing themselves, having a clear 2020 vision about you. It's a very direct reading. The beating heart of your reading, Sagittarius, which can often show mutual energies, is the Eight of Pentacles. This is a really nice card, ruled by Virgo. Everyone is working in unison. There's peace, there's harmony. I think both of you agree here that when you meet in the middle, this will require work. It's more of a team effort. Yes, you know, you're more than ready to put in the work. Your person knows they have to do that as well to get the ace and then moving on to the two here as well. We're putting in that, we're putting in that loyalty, the peace. We're putting in the hard work, the love, the loyalty, the effort and redeeming oneself and proving everyone wrong here that this can and will work. Some of you is definitely met here in a professional setting or were introduced to someone um, quite professional. Okay. Let's see, why did this really happen? What happened behind, I mean, we know what's happening behind the scenes now, but what happened in the past though? Ah, I'm not surprised I'm seeing the Seven of Swords. Now, if we look at this imagery, because it's really important to know placement of the cards, but also the imagery here. It appears here that some people left a chest there without realizing the mermaids opened it and there are swords and they're thinking, hmm, how can we use this now against the humans? For example, that's just a story there. But you see, the Seven of Swords is a bit of a tricky card. It's about lying, cheating, stealing, being strategic, doing something behind your back, not being honest with you. Especially true for your person because it's right underneath um, their placement here. So no wonder what's behind, you know, what's in front of it is the card of hard work. They're gonna have to dig themselves out of this and they know that they're prepared to put in this hard work. So regardless if there was a third party or not, because that could just be that this person broke your heart, they will have to work double time for you not to see them as that seven of swords anymore. So I'm hearing that there was a lot of lies, a lot of assumptions, and even just general white lies, it's still unhealthy. Let's talk about both of your hopes, your fears, and your wishes. This goes both ways. Yep, three of pentacles. Capricorn energy. Remember, your person can be any star sign. They do not have to be the ones that I list. But this is all about what? Working again in unison, being Team Sagittarius, and they're crossing the fingers and toes that you will be on their team. It's about collaboration, finally working together as one. You know, working with each other, not against each other. We're seeking to understand and not react here. This is a really good card. It's going to happen. And this is definitely some form of face-to-face -face communication. Let's talk about the near future. It just keeps getting better. We have the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. Couldn't help to notice that you got two wish cards. You got the star and the Nine of Cups. That for me is the minor arcana of the star. Make a wish, pause the video, close your eyes and really listen to what your heart wants in regards to this person because it's about to come true. This is amazing. The future's looking really bright in the near future. Let's talk about the outcome. Yeah, you know what? First thing I saw with this, it's Pisces energies. Take your time. Because both of you will have the chance to see things from different angles, different perspectives on how to move forward to really embrace that nine of cups here, to work together, move away from any trust or dishonesty, any sneaky behavior here as well. Of course, this is calling that for both of you will need a certain personal level of self-sacrifice. How much are you willing to meet in the middle? What are you ready to let go here as well? So it's not necessarily a bad card for me. It's kind of like a neutral card. This is why we need to clarify. Let's do this. All right, so I, these uh, cards are the Mermaid Tarot, and I'll be using the Pulp Girls Tarot. So if you do want um, your own deck, if you like these, they are widely available, um, definitely, I think, on um, like Amazon and all that. So I don't have any affiliate, you know, links here, but um, I do like to share. So where I get these cards from, or even just go on Etsy. There's so many. Let's clarify let's get more messages let me split the deck Sagittarius you've got the full Aries energy saying go for it and that's the first card of the major arcana and you got the ace of cups again it's almost like you're getting to know each other all over again it's falling in love all over again and there's a sense of adventure of wonderment now question is you know with that third I just feel things got messy things got out of hand 
Ace of Pentacles, a solid brand new beginning. One more, please. Yeah, I keep hearing you working as one, working in unison, that you're both on the same page here. I don't see that your person is coming with any um, secret agenda. Not at all. Three more. Two more. In fact, what I like is that we're not seeing any third party here. But let's hope when we clarify these cards that uh, that's going to stay the same, right? All right, here we go. Bottom of this deck, please, for Sagittarius and their person. Oh, my God. Sagittarius, you got my favorite card. For those that have been watching me for a while, you know I make a big deal out of this. You got, like, I have a lot of favorites. These are my favorites here. We got my number one favorite is the sun ruled by Leo. This is literally the happiest card. True bliss, joy, blessings, the return of physical health. And also for those that have children of any age, we've got happy, healthy children. For those that want to travel or even meet this person in the middle, a very literal message is traveling to a hot, sunny place. And that's blessed as well. But it is the card of illumination. So anything that was hidden, Anything that didn't make sense, it didn't get your closure, the light literally psh, is going to shine on everything. Beautiful. What do we have now? If I can separate them, we have the Two of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, the Two of Cups again. This is getting creepy, like in a really good way. You got the star again. Aquarius energy and the big card of transformation is the death card Scorpio energy and you got the second fastest moving energy in the deck the eight of wands Sagittarius energy charge your phone because this person is about to start contacting you this is a quick sun and flurry of quick rapid movements so what's going to make you happy here is I feel here that both of you will be choosing each other and even if your person in the past carelessly and very immaturely, if they were trying to juggle you and someone else or something else, now they're realizing, mm, I knew that you were uh, mirroring each other. You've got the two of cups. They've got the two of cups as well. It's a decision to be made by the heart. And if anything, if they look at you in contrast to any third party, you're the sun, you're the two of cups, you're the star here. This is beautiful. We're both coming together. Again, the star is fulfilling all these wishes. Major card of transformation. This is, as I always bluntly say, the 2.0 version of this connection where it has to be and it will be better than ever. There's high hopes for this. This is, this is not over. And if you've hit a rough patch with this person, it's all going to be worked out sooner rather than later because we've got a lot of majors here. The Six of Swords as the current situation is also clarified by the Seven of Swords. We've got it twice. So we are moving away because we have to really look at these cards as individuals, but also how do they as a whole um, connect to one another? We're moving away from that Seven of Swords, from dishonesty, from lies, or anything that was hidden here, or anything that was happening behind your back, or even your person's back. We are moving forward. We are moving away from that. This is really good. It's a good combination to have. It's all about truth. It's about honesty now. That's the potential of the current situation. Now, you are being represented as the Two of Cups. Now, that is clarified. Three of Pentacles. See, when I said you're mirroring each other now, you both want the same thing, being on the same page. You would like to meet this person. Traditionally, the Three of Pentacles in the really like older one, if you go back to like the Rider White Tarot and so forth here, it actually shows a beautiful couple getting married and we have a priest blessing this union. And it's often known as the power couple here as well. It's like it's grounded, it's solid because of those pentacles. So both of you do want to meet each other. I feel that you really have not given up on this person. There's been a rough patch. Even if there's a period that you haven't been talking here, it's about to come full circle. Now let's talk here about the Ace of Cups. That is your person. It is pretty evident this person loves you. In fact, they're in love with you and then it runs deeper and that is clarified by the queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy regardless of this person's gender they are being represented by the energy of this queen of pentacles now for some of you this yes this person could have been committed engaged or married to someone else probably had their own home their own family traditions their own children here as well but ultimately they're choosing you and they want you to see them. It's like, I've changed. I'm more grounded. I've got a good head on my shoulders. And this whole sense with that Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing. That's what they want to do. Like scoop you up and say, now let me take care of this. 
they're good with money. I feel like they're coming to you and there's like a big fat balance. I mean, I know that we're not going to use them for money, but this person is just very abundant now in all areas. The Hierophant that is happening behind the scenes is clarified by the King of Cups. Strong Scorpio energy could also be a Pisces or a Cancer. Look how this King is slightly shifted and looking to the future. This is what they're planning. This person does love you. They just can't wait to give you that cup. Metaphorically, that is their heart. It is their love. It is an opportunity. They are all about home, all about family. But of course, it's like they need to prove it to you now through work, through action, because talk is cheap now. They have to redeem themselves, right? Yep. All about children, the home, the dog, the cat here. I'm very loyal. They're a lot more empathetic, intuitive here as well emotionally available let's talk here in the beating heart of your reading is the eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles taurus energy note how the scales are balanced here and the six as we know is about what it's about fairness it's about balance harmony peace here i wouldn't be surprised if your person here for some of you not all of you if they were going through a separation or divorce and dealing with spousal support or child support um, money or assets being divided. What I really like here is that, as I said, it you don't have a bad bone in your body. You've actually got really good energy here as well. And the people around you, your friends and your family want the best for you, but they want to make sure that you understand that they are coming with the best intentions. It could be to salvage this connection, win you back, and just in due time that you can trust this connection once more. You can definitely expect for some of you, um, and definitely like a token of love or a small gift here something physical that already starts to open up lines of communication kind of forces you in a way to you know send a message and say i got this thank you very much the seven of swords shows what happened you know in the past and as a result we have the nine of pentacles virgo energy the minor arcana of the empress which is taurus and libra energy so as a result you both went your separate ways um, I think here that you are very single, independent, but you're not lonely. Yes, you may be alone, but you're not lonely. You're accomplished. You're focusing here also now as a result of what happened on other areas of your life, you know, such as your social life, your career, your finances, your studies, a side job. I love the Nine of Pentacles. It really shows Sagittarius that deep down inside, you know that you've got that million dollar idea, which leads straight away to the Empress, which is the most abundant card. But your person is considering themselves quite single. And in saying that, they really don't want you to be single. They don't want anyone else to come and, you know, hold your hand and, you know, replace them, for example. So this is what happened and what you both need. Now, the three of pentacles, meeting face to face is clarified by the hermit. Virgo energy. Now you have the hermit, we've got the hermit again. So there's a lot of mirroring going on. The wise sage, clearly your person has had time to also go within, retract, bring back their energy, do soul searching, or just really take a good hard look in the mirror. They have grown up, big spiritual lessons have happened here. But of course, in saying that, they're only human. They're probably worried that you might say no to them. I don't wanna see you face to face, but they will try because now they're coming to you as well with wisdom and experience. The Nine of Cups in the near future is clarified by the Three of Swords, mm -hmm. Libra energy. So I can see that the wounds are running very deep. Now, I have to give you a heads up here because it's, it's kind of like my duty. I don't want to sugarcoat anything or provide false hope. Whatever third party there was could still be hanging around in the near future, especially here if your person is married or was married and there's legalities and there's children here involved, you will still get your wish. You know, this is a beautiful card of also healing because we're emotionally content, but it's like a, mm, you should know this Sagittarius, consider this a speed bump that that third party will still be there. But the nine of cups is a greater number. There's more cups there. So the love that you have both for each other will overcome this. In fact, this can often mean the nine of cups heals the broken heart. But just don't be surprised if that third party's perhaps hanging around in the background. Which is again, we're talking about, well, how much are you willing to sacrifice to meet in the middle? Ten of swords. Something will happen. Perhaps, do not be surprised. Um, we've got the Ten of Swords. Now, that is uh, Gemini energy. When we hit a little bit of rock bottom, something is obviously going to happen. There's going to be a shift here. Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Why is the Ace of Pentacles there? King of Swords. Okay, they want to talk to you. 
because I almost feel like it's going great. Third party comes back and then we're not talking to one another. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm taking out more cards because, you know, the ending is never a straight line and we are dealing here respectfully, you know, with true thoughts and feelings here as well. You know, some of you may be wondering, I'm, I think I might end this. The third party is still there. I didn't leave a problem um, just to walk back into another problem. This is another heads up. I do believe, and this is not for all of you, there might be someone else interested in you. We've got strong Aquarius energy. Could also be a Gemini and a Libra. And this time within next year, you might actually find someone that gives you something a little bit more solid here. And that's the thing. It is a shame that your person doesn't put strong boundaries. Like if I saw the seven of wands, for example, the nine of wands, I would think, yeah, you know, they're going to be quite defensive towards this third party and protect you. But this third party sneaking back in and I see that your person definitely could be dealing with, you know, with someone, you know, they're separated, divorced. It's about loss, endings and feeling quite betrayed here. And that's the thing. I think you're wondering pretty deep how much am I willing to meet them in the middle because we're still feeling a little bit betrayed when you sit with yourself and kind of in retrospect in a very state of wisdom like the hermit you think yeah but they did this he used to say they won't do it again though this is going to be a touch and go um this is definitely going to be not a yes but not a no but i almost feel here that this will be your decision because literally this could be the end of tough times because the 10 of course is the end of cycles bear in mind here that there is someone in the next couple of weeks that is coming your way if you are interested in this new person this is more of a side note it's like a footnote that's not really part of this reading um i am seeing here that someone that may be keeping an eye on you this could be a friend or even another ex person here um that you've lost touch with is coming back and they are seeking something stable so suppose it's a good problem to have when people are fighting over you right let me split the deck please for sagittarius yeah ace of cups Behind the Ace of Cups is Justice, Libra Energy. In front of it is the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you've got two people coming your way. This one is almost like here. And once we reach this stage, you know, within the next couple of weeks, we've got someone new that comes forward saying, hey, let's go for a coffee. That's going to stir some romantic interest here as well. So Sagittarius, this will be your call. Although I must say this, being realistic, the vast majority of you will be tempted to kind of end this because this person is a lot more grounded, a lot more solid. In other words, they come with no strings attached. I like that. Ace of, yeah, Ace of Swords, Clarity, you're going to know what to do. Do not worry, you cannot put a foot wrong. Sagittarius, this is what I have for you and your person and wasn't expecting it. We've got someone else that decided to make an appearance. Thank you for joining me. And I do invite you to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. That way you never miss out on a reading that I do for you here in Australia every Wednesday. Much love to you. Take care. Bye.